What's up everybody? Today I was going through my email and I found an article that states a half a million people signed up to storm Area 51. What happens if they actually show? Well I got a couple of ideas so I wanted to do a little bit more research. I went on Facebook to see what's going on and then I ended up finding the group it's called Storm Area 51. The description of the group states we will bum rush Area 51. The more the better. Invite anyone and everyone. Whatever you grab, you can keep. Any fatalities will be held in a memorial in a created park for our national accomplishment. Is this a national accomplishment? Or is this a national murder? Is this a national sacrifice? The group shows Lewis here. He's the founder. Lewis, you're a big dog, ain't you? And as we keep reading, we find articles that say, Fun and games on Facebook may have serious consequences for the foolish. That is the message delivered by the U.S. Air Force, who has responded to Facebook's group efforts to have more than 450,000 people storming a top-secret military base. You're fucking nuts. As we keep reading, we find conspiracy theorists have always believed that Area 51 in Nevada holds information about extraterrestrial activities on our planet, possibly including actual alien remains and aircrafts. That belief spawned a Facebook group suggesting that a wave of humanity could overwhelm the defenses at the base and discover the truth. Well, I hope you could run real fast. Truth is, there's going to be a thunderstorm of lead raining down on you. The group states, We will meet up at the Area 51 Center tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. The event description reads, If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. Yeah. Let's see them. That's a great idea. And as we keep reading, this is probably some good information that you should know. If you're one of the ones who want to attend. Area 51 is an open training range for the U.S. Air Force, and we would discourage anyone from trying to come in the area where we train American armed forces. McAndrew states, The U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. It's definitely not a real estate area doesn't have many businesses going on. Assets? Is it gold? Is it silver? Is it alien technology? Today's Tuesday. By Friday last week, more than 540,000 people around the world have signed up to attend this joke Facebook event. Storm Area 51. They can't stop us all. All. In 2014, a tour bus carting four passengers near Area 51 inadvertently drove through warning signs and entered the base. Las Vegas Now reported, The truck was stopped by men in military garb and everyone in the vehicle was threatened with a misdemeanor conviction and $650 fine. The incident was caught on video, making it obvious the tour passengers thought it was all part of the experience. Only the driver was charged. This event is getting so big, the military actually is responding. They have hired people, trained Marines, to monitor this Facebook group. God, that's an easy job. All you gotta do is sit down there and be like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at what they're saying right now. It's gotta be like one of the easiest jobs in the world. You only have to go on Facebook and read memes on this group. Is there a threat? Is there really a threat? What happens when they get to the base? Are they going to kick down the door? Are they going to just go inside? What happens if they don't make it to the base? Hope Crystal Henry on Facebook, he says, he's from Nigeria. What should he bring? Well, you could probably bring some water because it's in a desert. You'll probably need a bulletproof vest. I'm assuming a sandwich. No, you should probably bring a bulletproof vest, first of all, and you should probably get enough vest material to cover your entire body. Although I don't think that vest is going to stand up to the 30 mil rounds that are coming out of the chopper. The most craziest thing about this all is if they do storm Area 51, is there going to be deaths? Of course you assume that there's, it's a suicide attempt, right? But will the military actually kill civilians? Are they civilians if they're going unarmed and they're just running to see stuff? Do they deserve to die? Does the military deserve to shoot and kill 500,000 to a million people? What happens if only 50 shoot up? Are they gonna kill and shoot 50 people? To be honest, that might start a revolution. That might even start a civil war. That might start riots all around the world. 
the military is getting so afraid they're actually moving objects out of the base just so people don't see them. No, I'm just joking, that's just a meme. But who knows, if people like Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up, you might actually have a chance. You're gonna need someone like the Terminator. Area 51, prepare to be terminated. So recently it grew, and it seems that over a million people have now pledged to show up. I don't know if it's true. What do you think? Comment below. And if you can, click subscribe. The stuff gets juicy. When is this going to take place? September 20th at 3 a.m. in the morning. Hopefully y'all are ready. And I'm definitely gonna make a follow-up video for this later on. And me, there's always new news popping up on my Twitter feed. John McAfee liked to say, 500,000 people storm Area 51. Some advice. Area 51 is not a real estate zone. It is one of the most heavily armed military bases on Earth. If you have tanks and artillery, you may last a minute or two before becoming part of the scorched Earth. But people, do your thing. Well, geez, that's about it, y'all. Let me know what you think. Is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? Is it fake? Are people just messing around? Are we actually gonna see something go down? Comment below, give me a like or a dislike if you liked or disliked the video. I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much and tune in for more news.